Hello there. What we found so far is that proteins are chains of what? Proteins are chains of amino acids. And so what we have here is a uh, diagram showing the structure, a generic a structure of a generic amino acid. And so what do all amino acids have in common? They have these nine atoms in common. What is this? This is a central carbon atom. How many bonds does each carbon atom have? Supposed to have four. Does this have four? Sure does. One, two, three, four. What's attached to these four bonds? Well, in one direction, the way this is drawn, uh, there is a hydrogen atom. Over this way, there is something called a carboxyl group that has how many atoms? Count them. I hope you counted four because what? One carbon atom, one oxygen atom over here, uh, one oxygen atom, one hydrogen atom here. How do we know those are two different atoms? Because they're both what? They're both capital letters, absolutely. What do we have over here? Something called an amino group with how many atoms? Three. One we haven't seen in our, uh, our macromolecules uh, to this point. A nitrogen atom with two hydrogen atoms attached. So that's nine atoms. Uh, all amino acids have this part, uh, these items in common. Carboxyl group, central carbon, hydrogen atom, and amino group. So what makes one amino acid different from another? It's this R group over here, or side chain. Uh, there are how many different amino acids and proteins? A total of what? 20. And so what makes one amino acid different from another? It's this R group right here. Why are there 20 different amino acids? Because there are 20 different R groups in proteins, uh, in the amino acids of proteins. And so what are some of these R groups? Wow. Here's a wild one right here. What in the world does that mean? We're actually going to talk about that uh, when we do the recap. Well, what do we see for tyrosine? Tyrosine is one of the 20 amino acids and proteins. We see all the standard stuff that we just talked about, and in particular the R group of tyrosine. Down here we see all the standard <coughs> parts of an amino acid and the R group for glutamine. Uh, do you have to learn each, either one of those? No, I'm going to ask you to learn just one. It will be the very simplest R group of obviously the very simplest amino acid. But we are going to look at tyrosine. Uh, so uh, that's it for this video. Uh, let's recap with a dry erase board video.